don't know whether this will ever get shown or what it is, but basically I'm currently driving to North Wales. I'm currently going to Prestatyn. I connected with a guy called Lou about in, back in March time. Um, he was a member of one of the like personal training groups that I'm a member of. And I reached out and just asked for some help in regards to how to set up a group training uh, group training sessions which I wanted to run back at Fashionable Fitness Gym um, and I just wanted some ideas on how he did things because I've been pointed in his direction that he was really successful at what he did um, and I should maybe look into following his model of doing things. So Lou hopped on a call with me and it was a Sunday afternoon and it was the day before he was opening his second gym. Um, so I couldn't believe A that he spent, oh, we are on the phone for about an hour and a half and basically his gym was meant to be opening the next day so he was like putting all his gym equipment together sorting out the gym and he took time out of his day to yeah speak to me and we like bounced ideas off each other um i basically tried to get into how he'd like grown his business what he did what his like what he thought was successful what didn't work etc and how he structured his sessions I got all excited like this is what I wanted to do in Scarborough like I knew that this was the direction that fitness personal training the industry was heading was small group training um, but not classes like I didn't want to do classes that was my big thing like I love lifting weights I love squatting I love deadlifting I love bench pressing it's what I get all my clients to do it's um, feeling strong feeling powerful and that is what I wanted to bring to more people basically um, so I put together a business plan I knew it would work I knew how many people I could get involved um, and I, I thought it would benefit fashionable fitness so so much um, but yeah to give you a bit of background I approached the regional manager I approached the club manager um, they came down we had a bit of a meeting and basically they just said no so I'd spent all this time, I'd put, I'd put so much effort and so much passion into this business plan that I knew would work, I knew it would work. And I couldn't see how they couldn't see that it would work. Um, but yeah, they just said no. So I was a bit flat, in fact I was really, really flat. Um, it was a bad time, because I just was just like, well I don't see how I can grow my business without developing this. And it wasn't just about me, it was more of the fact that I knew that one-to-one -one personal training, it's a luxury, it's a massive thing, it's a big commitment, it's a lot of money. So it was a bit like, right, I'm a bit stuck again now. And that's when I kind of like spam my wheels for about a month or so. And they'd said to me that I could have access to the downstairs studio at the gym. And that's when I was like, right, I'll, I've got to do something. So I started up the, um, the weekend classes. But it's not me, like, as much as I do love the high intensity stuff, like the um, the group training, burpees, burpees, plyometrics, etc. That's not how I've got my figure. That's not how I work with my one-to-one -one training clients. So, as, as passionate as I was about it, like, I knew that that isn't the direction that I want my business to go. It's not in five pounds a session and I think that's why I got so disgruntled not disgruntled that's why I'm like downhearted when I was getting cancellations and stuff because it wasn't my it's not my passion and it's a bit like well if I'm putting all this effort into something that's not my passion and not getting enough out of it then what's the point in doing it and it was a little bit like right well what's, something's got to change so um something then did change I got an email from the regional manager at Fashion World Fitness I don't want to go into it too much on here but basically I've been forced to make a little bit of a decision um, and it was always a decision I knew I would have to make one day but I just wasn't sure when and it's whether to like go out and set up on my own so yeah so that brought me back around into a circle to um, to how I just began this little rant with Lou so I was sat at home and I was just kind of like, right, if I want to implement the structure that I can kind of see in my head working, then I kind of need to go and see it for myself. So as much as you can talk to somebody over the phone, you can speak to somebody on Messenger, you can email, there's nothing like seeing it in person really. So it is Wednesday today, Sunday, I emailed Lou and I was like, look, is there any chance that I can come over, spend a couple of days or 24 hours seeing what you do? and whether it would work for me. 
he got back to me within about literally i'm not even joking about 30 seconds being like yeah book two days off come on over see what we do i'd love to help i'd really really love to help and that's one of the things that i love about these mentorship groups and um, these personal training groups that i'm a part of is everybody wants to help you like it's not one of those things that is like oh i'm not going to share my successes like everybody wants to help and tell you how how they've succeeded who near prostatic about three hours three and a half hours away to basically see what he does and see if what he does is something that i can do myself and in this facility in the space that i had a look at the other day and now i've maybe shown you in in the previous video or the previous clips so yeah, I always talk about doing things that you're scared of and I kind of like didn't really think about it. I kind of was just like, right, book it, go. Like, there's no time like the present. And now that I'm driving over, I'm like, kind of, scared's the wrong word. I'm not scared, but I'm just kind of like, this is all a little bit real now. Like, I'm going to have to make some sort of decision. After this week, after this trip, I'm going to have to kind of make a decision. Like, is this what I want to do? Am I ready for it? Have I got to dive in the deep end and just kind of go for it? And yeah, I'm still a bit like, oh my God, like what is going on? Am I ready for this? But hopefully after this like 24 hours, I might have like a better, a better idea of kind of, if, is this what I want to do? Is this kind of what I want to go for? Business-wise, it would make sense as a 
opposed to being petty, as opposed to try, as opposed to being responsible to me, answerable to me, not answerable to the gym. They can't just change the uh, move the borderlines. They can't move the guidelines. It would it would all be on me. It would be my my place. He also offered me a job, and he was dead serious. Said he'd pay for me to go over there for a week, um, do it, trial it out, and then yeah, I could go and do it. He even said, "Try your gym. If it fails, still come and work for me." He said, like he said, it probably wouldn't be my fault. It'd be the structure of how Scarborough is, as opposed to my coach. And he said he could see that straight away. That I was a good coach, which is a nice thing to hear. If anything, it was really nice. Like cause as much as I've spoken about it with my dad, as much as I've spoken about it with a couple of clients. Um, it was really nice to speak about it with somebody who's had that experience and is in the same field, is in the same, and he kind of knows how things work and he knows what works, what doesn't work and he could also, I could see that he could see my fears and he could see what I was scared of and he tried his best to like get me over those fears um, which was really, really helpful because as much as my dad and Gary tried to help, like they don't know, they don't know the industry so they don't really know the ins and outs, they don't know how it works. Um, so that was good in terms of being able to actually speak to somebody in a similar situation. I feel like we got each other. I feel, yeah, it was really nice to have somebody to relate to because I don't think there's anybody in Scarborough like him. Like, I don't think there is. Um, and that is why I've like spent 24 hours really driving three hours to Wales and back just to go see him and yeah so last night I didn't sleep very much at all probably like three hours and um, just going over and over in my head what's holding you back what is holding you back like is it the fear of it failing or is it the fear of Yeah. 